just in at 11. Veterans targeted pictures show their post ransacked hours ago. Now they're on alert and they need your help. Glad you're with us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. The suspects not only left a trail of damage, but also plenty of video to help these vets get results. It happened at the AMVETS along Deer Run Road in St. Cloud. News 6's Jennifer Ortega joins us there live tonight. And Jen, veterans were back out there tonight cleaning up that mess. Yeah, you can still see the damage on the front of the building. They busted in through this screen door, then smashed that glass door to get inside. From what the post commander tells me tonight, the way they broke in, it seems like they've done this before. They used a sledgehammer with a towel wrapped around it, busted in the front door. They spray painted all the video cameras so you couldn't see them. Army veteran John Wood says he takes this to heart, that the attack on the American Veterans Post 33 is affecting everyone. I do take it personally as a veteran because it's about the veterans. Surveillance video shows the moment three people walk inside the nonprofit, all of them wearing hoods over their heads and crawling in through the smashed front door. One guy puts the hammer on the table and checks in with his buddy. He then walks up to the camera and sprays it with black paint. The only thing we're here for is to assist veterans in help they need, whether it's financial, physical. The thieves broke into several games, stealing cash and even taking the ATM machine with them. For somebody to come in and do this to a veterans organization, I can only imagine what they do to a civilian. Sarah Darty manages the restaurant next door and got here this morning to see the damage. She tells us the crook didn't touch her business. When I got here, there was broken glass everywhere. There was a lot of damage. My heart hurts and uh, yeah, I've been upset all day. I closed my restaurant all day. I, you know, I could have opened and I said no because this is part of the family. Now, most of the damage has already been repaired by veteran volunteers. Those suspects are still out there. If you have any information that can help this case, call the Osceola Sheriff's Office. Live in St. Cloud, Jennifer Ortega, News 6.